Imagine this. You're sitting at home, watching TV or scrolling through your phone. But did you know that all around you right now, there's light traveling through your living room that is older than the Earth itself, older than the sun, older than our galaxy, older even than most of the atoms in your body. This isn't science fiction, it's fact. And this ancient light holds the secrets to how everything we see and don't see came to be. This mysterious glow is called the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB for short. It's the afterglow of the Big Bang, the moment when time, space, and matter as we know them burst into existence nearly 14 billion years ago. Today, we're going to explore what the CMB is, why it matters, and how scientists use it to uncover some of the biggest mysteries of the universe. By the end of this video, you'll understand not just what this oldest light is, but also why it might hold the key to understanding where we came from and where we're headed. What is the cosmic microwave background? To truly grasp the significance of the cosmic microwave background, let's rewind the clock to about 13.8 billion years ago. Picture the universe as an unimaginably hot, dense point smaller than an atom. Then, in an instant, it exploded outward in what we call the Big Bang. For the first few hundred thousand years after that event, the universe was so hot and chaotic that light couldn't travel freely. Instead, photons, the particles of light were constantly bouncing off free electrons in a thick soup of plasma. But as the universe expanded and cooled, something incredible happened. About 380,000 years after the Big Bang, temperatures dropped enough for protons and electrons to combine and form neutral hydrogen atoms. Suddenly, there was nothing left to scatter the light. Photons were finally free to stream across the cosmos unimpeded. This moment is known as recombination, and it marked the birth of the cosmic microwave background. These photons have been traveling ever since, stretching and cooling as the universe continued to expand. Today, they exist as faint microwaves with wavelengths longer than visible light. Hence the name microwave background. They fill every corner of the sky, bathing us in the echoes of creation. Discovering the CMB. Now here's the fascinating part. No one set out to discover the CMB. In fact, its detection was completely accidental. Back in 1964, two radio astronomers named Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson were using a massive horn antenna at Bell Labs in New Jersey. Their goal was to study radio signals from distant galaxies, but no matter where they pointed their telescope, they kept picking up a strange, persistent hiss, a uniform noise coming from all directions. At first, they thought the signal might be caused by pigeon droppings inside the antenna. Yes, you heard that right. Pigeon poop. After cleaning out the birds in their nests, the noise persisted. Eventually, they realized they weren't dealing with bird-related interference. It was something far more profound. What they had stumbled upon was the cosmic microwave background. Their discovery confirmed a prediction made decades earlier by physicists George Gamow, Ralph Alpher, and Robert Herman, who theorized that if the Big Bang really happened, there should be leftover radiation filling the universe. For their groundbreaking work, Penzias and Wilson won the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1978. And just like that, humanity had its first direct evidence of the Big Bang. Why does the CMB matter? So why does the cosmic microwave background matter? Think of it as a cosmic baby picture a snapshot of the universe when it was just 380,000 years old. At that time, the entire cosmos was filled with a nearly uniform glow of hot plasma, but hidden within that glow are tiny fluctuations, subtle variations in temperature and density that would eventually grow into the galaxies, stars, and planets we see today. These fluctuations are incredibly small, measuring only fractions of a degree Kelvin above or below the average temperature of 2.7 Kelvin, but they contain a treasure trove of information Scientists can analyze these patterns to learn about the early conditions of the universe, such as its composition, geometry, and rate of expansion. In essence, the CMB acts as a blueprint for the cosmos. For example, thanks to detailed studies of the CMB, we now know that only about 5% of the universe is made up of ordinary matter. The stuff that makes up stars, planets, and us. Another 27% is dark matter an invisible substance that doesn't emit light but exerts gravitational pull. And the remaining 68% is dark energy, a mysterious force driving the accelerated expansion of the universe. Without the CMB, we wouldn't have these insights. How do we study the CMB today? Since Penzias and Wilson's discovery, technology has advanced dramatically, allowing us to study the CMB in unprecedented detail. One of the most important tools in this effort is space-based observatories which avoid interference from Earth's atmosphere. Two standout missions are WMAP and Planck. 
Launched in 2001, the Blue MAP provided the first high-resolution full-sky map of the CMB. Its data refined our understanding of the universe's age, composition, and structure. Then, in 2009, the European Space Agency launched the Planck satellite, which built on the Blue MAP's findings with even greater precision. Planck's maps revealed subtle details about the CMB's temperature fluctuations, helping scientists test theories about inflation the idea that the universe underwent a period of exponential growth in its earliest moments. Ground-based experiments are also playing a crucial role. Telescopes like the Atacama Cosmology Telescope in Chile and the South Pole Telescope are designed to detect polarization patterns in the CMB. These patterns could provide clues about gravitational waves from the dawn of time, offering further evidence for inflation. Unanswered questions and future exploration. While the cosmic microwave background has answered many questions, it has also raised new ones. For instance, what triggered inflation? Why does the universe appear so finely tuned for life? And perhaps most puzzling of all, what exactly are dark matter and dark energy? To tackle these mysteries, researchers are planning even more ambitious missions. NASA's upcoming Aspherix mission, for example, will create a 3D map of the universe using mere infrared light, complementing existing CMB data. Meanwhile, projects like CMB S4 aim to deploy thousands of detectors at the South Pole and in Chile to achieve unparalleled sensitivity. As technology improves, so too does our ability to peer deeper into the past. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding not just the origins of the universe dot, but our place within it. The cosmic microwave background is more than just a relic of the Big Bang. It's a window into the very fabric of reality. Every time you look up at the night sky, remember that you're surrounded by the oldest light in existence. It connects us to the dawn of time and reminds us that we are part of something vast, ancient, profoundly beautiful. If you enjoyed this journey through the cosmos, let us know in the comments below what other cosmic mysteries would you like to explore. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, keep looking up.